Hello. Let's take a closer look at what we are dealing with here in Just Breathe. First of all, is not a typical Travis picking pattern where your uh, thumb is following the uh, string back and forth with the bass notes alternating. Um, with that very first line, um, we're looking at this pattern here. Uh, some critical shifts along the way. These fingers are going to be shifting from the top three strings to these almost top three. So no thumb. This is not the landslide, dust in the wind, thumb back and forth situation. This is Eddie Vedder using his ring finger like that. Um, also, he's going to switch in the second half of this first line um, because we're bringing in this high G on the top string. So, first line, first half. Just see how smooth that can be. Then add on the pinky note with the position shift back and forth that way. And then just stop there. I mean, that's, that's your first... Uh, main challenge of the song I feel like is getting that pattern uh, to switch back and forth so let's take a look okay from the beginning this is C and G back and forth that little motion on G is kind of neat uh, when it makes the switch We are going to wrap this up with an F, and it's not a bar chord F, it's just like the top four strings coming from the A minor into F. The chorus part is your uh, reason why you're not going to be doing this uh, thumb back and forth uh, to get that G with your thumb that's a huge jump for your thumb to jump over both of those strings uh, you don't want to do it um, that was my first realization and watching him confirms he's just parking these down there so that makes your G switch to D minor a lot more reasonable. In fact, that's really the only way to do it. So G to D minor is your second practice. If I can even do it. So that's the first uh, little bit of the chorus going from G to D minor. Um, and that happens back and forth for a little bit before moving to an F. And again, not the bar F. I don't think that matters because uh, the bar F is going to get really clunky. So if you can, do that abbreviated F. So G to D minor. Watch your fingering of your right hand. F here. Mini F go into an A minor, and now the messy stuff. This is the slash chord coming out of the A minor. We want a D minor, which is fine. And again, thumb, just pay attention to where your bass notes are. So D minor here, but then we need this C. So pinky setting this D minor up. Now we're coming from A minor, so the line there of A minor, your switch practice is A minor to D with a pinky. So, practicing. A minor, bass note. D minor, pinky. D minor, new bass note. That's D minor slash C. So, A minor, D minor, D minor slash C. And put the pattern on. A minor, again, D 
recliner position. G7 slash B. The good thing about that is that once we've got that G7 slash B, we've completed a, a bass note walk down and it just sounds really pretty. Do it very slow, do it crazy slow, and just build in a lot of repetitions. Every time you walk by your guitar, just pick it up. See if you can do this pattern. Letting go there. It is a uh, really a pretty song, so uh, take it slow and stay tuned. <laughs> 